Okay, so we're asked to find the uh, total surface area of this shape, and the shape's made up of half a sphere, or a hemisphere as we call it, uh, on top of a cylinder. Now the important thing to realise is that we don't have access to this circle here, right? So this isn't included in our surface area. It's only shapes on the outside, but there is another circle at the bottom here, so we need to add that on. So there's three parts to this. There's the hemisphere, there's the curved bit of the cylinder, and then there's that circle at the bottom. Now I'm going to do this all in one, which is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to give it a go. So the um, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, but because we've only got half a sphere, it's going to be 2 pi r squared. Okay, and then we're going to add that on to the uh, curved surface area, um, of the cylinder, which is this bit here. So, as we discussed in a previous video, and if you're not sure about working out the um, surface area of a, a cylinder, that we've got videos on the website for it, um, we're going to do the circumference of the circle, which is pi times the diameter, which is going to be 144. Uh, sorry, not 144, that's it squared. It's going to be twice 12, which is 24. And we're going to times that by the length, or in this case, the height, which is 19. And I've written r squared before, so we might as well just put the number in. Okay, and the radius is 12, so it's going to be 12 squared. Okay, and the last bit is that circle at the bottom, um, which is going to be pi times 12 squared. And there we go. So I'm going to put that all into my calculator. 2 times pi times 12 squared plus pi times 24 times 19 plus pi times 12 squared. And I'd recommend you write down each individual answer on your exam paper, just in case you make a mistake on one of them, the examiner can clearly see the others. In fact, if, there's no point giving you advice and not following it, so I'm going to do that same. So I'm going to write down uh, 28, oh, 288 pi here. I'm going to put these in terms of pi so I keep the accuracy pi times 24 times 19, so that's going to be 456 pi, and then uh, that's just going to be 144 pi. So 288 plus 456 plus 144 times pi, and it gives me the answer, and so this is my answer now, so I'm just going to write down the actual decimal, rather in terms of pi, 3, 4, 2, 7, 6, blah, 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 blah. So it's two decimal places, that's going to be 2,789.73 centimetres squared.